Hey everyone, Sam here, and in this video I want to show you how you can achieve a neon looking animation inside of your Lotties using the drop shadow in After Effects. Let's jump into it. So we're going to head into After Effects, create a new comp. I'm just going to add a black background because that looks best with uh, neon animations. So let's just call that background, I'm going to lock it. And we can go ahead and create some text. So let's just do Lottie. And um, I'm going to remove the feel. And hopefully it should have a white stroke, which I can't see for some reason. OK, there we go. So yeah, I quite like just having an outline. So once you're happy with your text and its position, you're going to right click it and you're going to do create and create shapes on text. So there we go, because if, you, it, if it's just a pure text layer, the drop shadow won't work in your lot animation. So I'm just going to lock that and leave it as is. And we're going to use shape layers instead. Okay, once you're happy with your text and got it to a shape layer, if you click on contents, add fill, I'm gonna add the fill, um, and this should be about the same color as your glow. So I'm gonna copy the hex value. Sorry, I'm gonna copy the hex value here, press okay. Um, cool, so here it is down here on the left, just under all the letters. And now we're going to go up here in uh, effects. We're going to add a drop shadow. Drop shadow. There we go. Just double click. It's added it. Okay, good stuff. Let's change the color of it. I'm going to paste in the hex value. I'm going to bump up the opacity 100 direction, I'm going to set it to zero, um, the distance to zero, and then its softness, I'm going to bump it up to 100. And that's all looking pretty good. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And what's left to do the effects. If we change the opacity, okay, and then, and then we can change it like that. So, yeah, that's not looking not too bad. You could leave it just with one layer, I think. Um, if you duplicate it, it sort of gets a lot stronger. Um, because if you only have one layer uh, and keep increasing the softness, you know, it sort of just goes further out um, but maybe you know if you did it perhaps like 50 that's looking that's actually looking pretty decent so 50 softness duplicate it perhaps do a bit lower um, add some distance if you wanted to and sort of play around with it a bit but it's giving a nice sort of glow around the letters which is quite nice you can bump up the distance and the and the softness yeah that's looking pretty decent and then you could just quickly animate the opacity okay you could get more flickering going on I'm just trying to be uh, trying to be brief and one little tip using uh, drop shadows I want to show you because if we go ahead and render this out, let's have a look. Oh, we've got neon text new. Uh, let's go ahead and render it out. As you can see, we've got this weird uh, rectangle around our text. And what we need to do to fix that, I'm going to close that quickly is actually select our 
outlines and then grab the rectangle tool and you want to create it so here like my text is just glowing a bit around it here um, so it's not too big but I generally just like to do the size of the comp so let's do that and this is creating a rectangle and we don't really want to see it so let's just remove the stroke or set it to don't remove it set it to zero uh, and then the fill can reduce it to zero opacity so I'm not doing anything okay, what if I remove it why is this compatible I remove this fill it's not got a fill it's Oh, I know right. It's because it's the because of this. If I put it underneath it, underneath the fill. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, make sure to put it underneath your fill content, and you get a rectangle size of the comp. And now, if you render it, it should just look fine. It shouldn't look all blocky. Neon text new. Okay, there we go. That's looking great now. So yeah, we've got a nice little glow effect around it. Um, and then yeah, you can sort of make it flash, play with the opacities, the colors. Um, and yeah, but that's generally, that's like the basic setup of how to get a sort of neon look inside of your Lottie animations. So that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.